Hi guys, my name is Tolani and I'm the Diary of a Kitchen Lover. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this perfect looking corn dog recipe. If you recreate this recipe, it's definitely going to turn out as perfect as this. So if you want to see how I made this, watch till the very end. And if you're new on this channel, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. for my corn dog recipe are flour all-purpose flour it is very very important you also need some brown sugar if you don't have brown sugar you can also replace it with white sugar it is also equally good you would also be needing some sausages i love to use frankfurt because of the size and the shape it gives you that chunky chunky look and if you don't have this particular pavo frankfurt um you can use any one it's totally fine so you definitely need to cut it into two and half it so that it will be easier for you to make you would also be needing some cornstarch this is like the main ingredient for this recipe without the cornstarch it's not going to form as perfect as it looked you also be using some full cream milk i love to use full cream milk two eggs you'll be needing some flavor for me i love butterscotch flavor you can use the condensed milk flavor flavor you can use vanilla or anyone so you need the raisin agent with the baking powder you would also need um salt to taste so these are the ingredients i'll be using so let's get straight into the business you need to mix the dry ingredients so for my dry ingredients i mixed flour the sugar very important um the cornstarch we're going to mix this dry ingredient and set this aside you'd also add the salt you also be needing the baking powder i'm going to put this complete measurement in the description box, um, box. trust me believe me <laughs> this time around i'm going to do that um, you just pretty much mix this together and set it aside so we can now proceed to mix the wet ingredients we're going to be mixing the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients for the wet ingredients um you will be needing two eggs like i said so you need to whisk this before you add the next um wet ingredients the next wet ingredient is gonna be um i forgot to add in the ingredients um this thing you'll be needing melted butter also so i added the milk i melted some unsalted butter and i added this butter is very important then you need to add the flavor so it's just pretty much mixing the wet ingredients in a separate bowl and the excuse me and the dry ingredients in another bowl and for the trick for making batters like this is you must not add the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients the dry ingredient has to come into the wet ingredients so that you can control the um consistency of the batter so um i added one cup of the wet the dry ingredients first i mixed it then i added another cup because the but the consistency i want is a semi-thick batter so this is exactly what I did. So um, eventually I used about two cups of dry ingredients. The dry mixture will not go to waste. If you want to make more, just make more um, wet mixture and mix it together. Then you pick the sausage that you've halved into two and get a skewer. I divided my skewer into two to get a shorter, um, shorter length. So you just pretty much um, insert the skewer into the middle of the sausage. You're going to repeat this for all the sausages for this recipe i used two packs of, of frankfurt it was enough for the mixture that i had so you're going to do this for all the sausages you need a skewer it's very very important to make this recipe if you don't have you can always get from every any local store around you just ask for um sticks skewer sticks i think that's what they call it you do this for all the sausages and next thing you're going to do is get a glass cup the yeah the one with the deep um size get it glass cup this is where you're going to insert the butter you're going to put the butter into the glass cup and dip the sausage into it before frying if you can use any type of you know cup plastic glass or anyone it's not restricted to only glass cups <laughs> so you just pretty much dip the sausage into it and roll it a little bit so that you know you can see how thick butter is if butter were too light it would have flushed out of the sausages so this is how it looks you already preheated your oil 
and throw the sausage into the oil you would know it's frying when it starts to pop up and you know float on top of the oil so you do this for all the sausages and your perfect looking <laughs> sausage um, corn dog is ready so you do this i did this for all 12 that i had and you fry this for about two to three minutes so you start by heating up the oil on extremely high heat but when you start to fry you reduce the heat to low medium so this is how you want it to look semi brown if you want it to look extra brown that's totally fine to your preference but this is how it should look when it's done it looks perfect already right yes you do this for all the sausages and allow it to cool serve and enjoy <laughs> you can see how easy this is if you found this video very helpful please do not hesitate to drop a comment or two and drop a like or two <laughs> and um, share this with your friends it's something that you know you can have with your family um over the movies watching tv chilling at night even as breakfast you know if you're into small chops business you can also do this also just add this to your menu if you're into catering business you can add this into your menu it is very very easy and the good thing is that remaining butter take out you can use that same ingredients that i use for the butter for pancake but just take out the cornstarch and your butter for pancake is perfect so you can see how perfect this is please let me know if you'll be trying this recipe if you'll be trying it give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section too thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button now